This is the day that the Lord has made, and we rejoice and we are glad in it. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Dr. Faith is here today. Amen. In case you didn't, can't see it, uh, my name now has been changed to O.C. Faith. Okay, that stands for Overcoming Faith. Amen. See, because when you go on your doctor's appointment, you believe everything the doctor tells you. And right now we got to convince folk to believe the word of God. So I said, if that white coat gets the job done, I got a white coat this morning, which means you got to believe everything I say, because it's not my word, but the word of God. It's the word of God. And the great physician, the Lord Jesus Christ, is here to deliver you out of all your destruction. Put your hands together one more time. Now, praise God, with a little help from my friends, I got a stethoscope. And I'm writing some Holy Ghost prescriptions for you. I'm going to save you some time. You don't have to go to Walgreens. You don't have to drive to CVS. I'm going to give you some gospel today. No, I'm going to give you some gospel today concerning debt cancellation in your life. Oh, praise be unto God. You were not redeemed to be saved and broke. You were not, Jesus didn't die and rise from the dead for you to be born again, go into heaven, but broke while you down here on earth. I'm here to send a word to you today. I'm telling you, you're going to be glad you were here today. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. You're going to be glad you were here today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise be unto God. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor's got some things to say today. Turn your Bible. Here's the first prescription I'm writing for you. Psalms 103, verse 19. See, because the devil is a liar. No, the devil is a liar. He's got a system that he has gotten the saints tangled up in. It's designed to frustrate you. No, to frustrate you. Because when you think about it, what would your life be like if money wasn't a problem? If cash wasn't an issue, just imagine for a moment, if you had no debt, what would your life be like? Think about it. For, think about all the things you would do if payday wasn't important to you anymore because it was just coming in into you on every wave. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Come on now. I got the white coat on. You got to believe everything I say. Now, let me help you. When you go see your wonderful physician, praise God, because we have physicians in the, in the ministry, multiple physicians. Have you noticed the credibility? Think about the first time you met your doctor. You didn't say, where you get your degree from? How long you been practicing? No, you picked him out of a book. It had the doctor in front and the MD behind it. Instant credibility. Do Minister Peary, Dr. Peary, it's instant credibility when your patients come and you, they don't question your credentials. They just know you qualify. So praise be unto God. I got the white coat on. <laughs> praise be unto God. I'm qualified in Jesus' name. I got blood washed hands and I got a step of soap. So I'm trying to tell you, your vital signs are getting better and better and better and better because the word always works. Somebody say amen to that. Let's, look, let's take a gospel. Psalms 103. Praise be unto God. Verse 19. Psalms 103, verse 19. 19. Are we there, ladies and gentlemen? Let's read that verse together, please. Ready, read. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. No, one translation says, his kingdom rules over everything. Over your life, your health, your wealth, your family, your children, the kingdom of God rules over everything. We need to establish this principle right now. The kingdom that you have become a part of the moment you got born again, rules over everything in the universe. That means your pocketbook, your wallet, your job, your career, your pension, the kingdom of heaven is designed by God to rule over everything. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Nowhere in your redemption package have you been promised, promised poverty. 
Poverty is of the curse. Remember, we define prosperity as the absence of lack in your life. So if there's any area of lack in your life, that's just not financial. If there's a health deficiency, you're in the right place today. There is a gospel that's being sowed into your spirit that's designed by God to bear a harvest for you in the kingdom of heaven. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Let's read that verse one more time, please. Ready? Read. I'm sorry. Let's read one, verse 19 again, please. Ready? Read. Now let's go to Psalms 35 and 27. This is part three on the series, Terms for Prosperity. Terms for Prosperity, part three. Psalms 35, verse 27, ladies and gentlemen, because we got to deal with the issue of you understanding by faith, it is God's agenda, not your agenda for you to be prosperous. You didn't make it up. God decided that before there was a who, what, when, or where God ordained for his people to be prosperous. Man. That means with your redemption came an abundance of more than enough. Now in your mind, if you're struggling with the concept of prosperity, you're looking at it from the perspective of the negative. And what we're going to end up being when this is all done, you're not going to think conventionally. You're going to start thinking supernaturally as it pertains to prosperity in your life. You're going to take out the, the conventional thinking of what you deserve and start thinking about what did God say concerning you. Remember now, unbelief is not the absence of believing. Unbelief is believing something God didn't say. Unbelief is believing anything God didn't say. God. It's not the absence of believing in something. So when you got born again, you were redeemed to believe the word only. That's why man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that comes out of God's mouth. And one of the most vital, most important things God has said is concerning your prosperity. Why would God save you and then ordain for you to be broke? Barely making it, living paycheck to paycheck. That's not the will of God for your life. So you need some help today. And help is coming. The good doctor's bringing help. I'm sowing another gospel into your life that's going to bear fruit for the kingdom, meaning supernatural debt cancellation. Look at somebody say supernatural. supernatural. Debt cancellation. Debt cancellation. Debt Come on, look at somebody else say supernatural. supernatural. Debt cancellation. Debt. So we got to sell it once and for all. It's God's will that his people be prosperous. Listen, his reputation's hanging in the balance. It's called his namesake. Listen, praise be unto God. I tell my sons, I said, Ross, I said, Roman, you bear my name. Anything you do is a reflection on my name. I may not be with you, but my name carries weight. My dad taught me that. My, he said, your name, the Ramsey name has credibility. And the moment you start misbehaving, you don't necessarily bring damage to you. You damage the name. So God's name has been bestowed upon every believer. That's why we approach God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, it makes God look bad when his people don't have more than enough because you've been blessed, ladies and gentlemen, to be a blessing. But you can't bless another man if you barely making it. So it is the will of God that you have abundance. So prosperity is the children's bread. Prosperity is the children's bread. Don't believe the devil's message that prosperity is a dirty word. Have you noticed? Poor folk are the one that have a problem with that. Amen. Rich folk don't have a problem with prosperity. It's people that don't have that have a problem Come with on. prosperity. That's not your testimony, Amen. praise be unto God, because I'm in a room full of prosperous people. Amen. That vision can only come to pass if you have the money to make it happen. Praise be unto God. I don't care if you retired. I don't care if you're working part-time. This is not about your employment. This is about the reality of what Christ rose from the dead to provide you. There is a room full of prosperous people. Amen. No, no, you are saying I'm prosperous. I'm, prosperous. I'm blessed and highly favored. Blessed. I have more than enough. I'll never be broke another day of my life. No, come on, say it like you mean. I'll never be broke another day of my life. The good doctors declared it is so. Amen. Praise be unto God. Ladies and gentlemen, Psalms 35, 27. Listen to God's agenda concerning 
your state of prosperity. Let them shout for joy and be glad. There's going to be some glad people here today that favor my righteous cause. Yeah, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. See, it's easy to praise God when you got more than enough. Listen to this, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. God takes great pleasure when you have more than enough. God takes great joy, pleasure. He enjoys when you have more than enough. Because when you got more than enough, he can empower you to be a blessing to somebody else. See, when you bless other folk, you represent, I'm going to say it differently. When you bless other folk, you are mimicking the Father. Little children, be ye imitators of your heavenly Father. God provides everything for everybody. And God's got people he's ordained before the foundation of the world for you to be a blessing too. But you can't be a blessing too at the level that God's ordained you to be until you have more than enough. Somebody say amen to that. So we got to deal with this issue. It's God's agenda that you be prosperous. Okay, let me say it again. It's God's overriding ambition, desire, agenda that your pockets be fat. That your bank account never see another zero unless it's following ones. Okay, let me say it differently. No, no, if it's starting off, not starting off with a zero. I mean, it's a whole number first and then a whole lot of zeros after. Pray. There's enough faith in this room for you to check your account on Monday and be 50 grand in it. I'm trying to take, no, I'm trying to get you out of the conventional thinking. Cause you said, well, it's not payday. It is payday. Every day is payday in the kingdom of heaven because we're thinking supernaturally, not conventionally. Well, let's read this verse. Ladies and gentlemen, let's let the viewing audience hear you read that verse with some gusto. Psalms 37 and 27, ready, read. So you just read it. Listen, listen. If you have a problem with this teaching, your problem's not with me. Your problem's with God. God just put in his word. Remember now, the Bible says the secret things belong to God, but what has been revealed belongs to us Amen. and his generation and our children. Okay. What is revealed to you belongs to you and your kids. Oh my God. Now the secret things, they're his. But what's been revealed belongs to us and our children. So what has been revealed? That God takes pleasure in you having more than enough. You got paychecks stacked up on your dresser because you got any pressure to cash them. I know, I want you to start seeing how you're supposed to live. Now, here's the good news. We're not thinking about how conventionally it's going to happen. We're thinking supernaturally because I'm going to show you God never ordained redemption without divine provision. Wherever there's been redemption, there's always been provision. And I think what's happened is we've got the redemption part of it, but we're leaving out the provision part of it. And part of it is because it's been bad teaching historically because prosperity has been made out to be a bad word. Because when you think about prosperous saints, you think about people doing nefarious things to get it. Now there are people to do that, but that's not us. What we're doing, we're doing because it's a covenant promise. Praise be unto God. Let me check your pulse. Praise God. There should be more praise and to folks should be blessing God because you're getting good, sound teaching. I'm not giving you my opinion. You're reading it for yourself. So now you know God takes pleasure. But this is not a message for a child. It's for a mature saint. Let's prove it. Galatians chapter 4, verse 1. Dr. O.C. Faith is in the house. I'm seeing patients right now. And I declare as a prophet, supernatural debt cancellation in your life. Amen. I'm declaring it in your life. Notice I said supernatural. That's the key word. You don't have to do anything. It's a part of your redemption package. But you can't have faith for something you've never been taught. We want to thank you for tuning into Kingdom Living Church on YouTube. Feel free to press like, and subscribe if this message bless you. You can follow us on Instagram or Facebook as well. Thank you. Until next time. And remember...
It's not about religion, it's about relationships.